Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It is Sunday, May the 31st, 2020, and I have been building my slides for my Sunday School class today entirely in Google Slides, which has been fun. Um, I really enjoy taking screenshots of the book that we're reading um, and then, you know, inserting those real readily. Usually I will make the screenshots on my on my iPad and then I'll put them over on my computer and then I'll build this all on my computer. But anyway, today I've tried to, to build it all on my iPad and that's all worked except here's a tough thing. We're going to watch this video and I want to go ahead and embed this video from YouTube directly on this slide. But when you go to the plus, there's not an option to do that here inside the Google Slides app. And so what I want to do is open this up inside Safari and be able to directly, you know, edit this um, in Safari in what's called iPad OS because iPad now lets you, you know, directly edit um, just like you would inside your web browser on your iPad. But here's the trick. It's really, uh, it was challenging to figure out how to do that because every time I would go, even if I would go to, let's say, Google Drive, and I'm going to try to open up this, this um, page, go ahead and refresh it here, um, it's going to try to open directly in the, um, in the app. It's not going to open for me, and this isn't opening at all, come on. open when I try to okay here we go see it when I double click and open it boom it just opens over there right in the app and I don't want to open in the app so what do you do well actually I, I did some googling uh, of course and actually um, I think I found this via I mean I found this over in Chrome because um, I was trying to do this in Chrome to see if it worked and the same same thing happens I'm in Google Drive in Chrome, I try to click on it. No, it just it goes to the app every single time. Um, one, I, so I got on Reddit and I found some um, suggestions. One of the settings said um, to go into Safari, and so you can go into your settings and you can search for Safari. And actually, you want to find the settings for Safari. And then this was already done, but down here at the bottom under settings for websites, you can have it where it's supposed to request the desktop website. I have this on already, but that didn't fix it. It still went over to the app. And so what I figured out is that you need to go um, to, and I did this in Safari, I guess. You know, you can you can go not only to Google Drive, but you can go to docs.google.com, and this shows you just your Google Docs. Well, what you need to do is the same thing, but for Google Slides. And so if you tap on Google Slides, here are my Google Slides, not on drive.google.com. But actually, if you can see the link at the top, it's on docs.google.com. Now, look at this. When I click on it from here, it opens inside the Safari browser. And that's what I want, because I want the full browser experience so that I can come and insert my... Um, my video here because this is what I want to do. I want to put my video. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to go to YouTube where I've been, you know, looking. I go to my history. Here's the video we're going to watch today. So I'm going to click share and I'm going to copy the link. So now I've copied the link to this video. And so now in Safari, I have the full browser. I can go to insert and I can choose video and I have the option to say by URL, and I've copied it to my clipboard, so I can paste it in, ta-da, and I can select it. So now, this video is here inside my presentation, and yay, I'm so excited to be able to do this. And what I typically like to do um, is, I create a slide when I'm gonna show a video like this, and I'll, well, actually, now now that I have it put in, I can go back to my my slides app, um, which I do like to you know work in more. It's just that you don't have all the features and function. Is it gonna update? Come on and update. Where's my? It should show me my video here because it's in there. I put it in. Um, I like to put a slide that has a screenshot of the thumbnail and then I also put the link but that link isn't super helpful for people unless they're clicking on your slideshow so I also like to create a QR code my favorite website for doing that is create 
qrcode.appspot.com. You can use a lot of different places to do that. Um, so let's see what's going on here. So over here in Google Slides, I think it's because maybe this, yeah, it didn't refresh, and now it did. So now when we get to this slide, okay, we'll be able to see this. And then here's my preview slide. Go ahead and present on this device. So here's my preview slide, and then we're going to go to the next slide, ta-da, and here's the video, and I'm going to be able to play it right there. So I hope that is helpful to you, and, um, you know, if this is helpful, uh, there's a bunch of places where I share stuff, but basically the best choice is probably to just follow me on Twitter, where I am W Fryer, and I'm sharing stuff there quite frequently. Actually, I've put a, a new web link not too long ago, um which is called Next Steps After a Presentation by Wes Fryer. So it's, the address is westfryer.com slash after. And so you can access all kinds of places that I am sharing um, resources there. All right. Thanks for watching.